Now, moving on to a weird and sad story. A couple was found dead in their home under what police say are bizarre circumstances in the Ashanti region of Ghana. The couple's two sons were also found thinly hanging on to life. Joining us on the news uh, this evening to help us understand this story is Kamini Amano, who has been following the story. Hi, good evening to you, Kamini. Hi, good evening, Benga. Now, um, information I have gathered on the story so far is that the police were called to do a welfare check on the Jacksons, their family of four uh, who lived in a two-bedroom multifamily apartment. Now, police sources say the neighbor and landlady who called on them were worried about the Jacksons because they had not seen them since May. So police broke into the apartment and found the decomposed body of a female, believed to be the wife, Anessina Jackson, um, in one of the rooms. Uh, they also found a second body believed to be the husband, Samuel Jackson, sitting on the family's toilet um, in, in the home. It is believed Ernestina may have died a, a little longer than Samuel as they found her in a decomposed state. She was wrapped in a blanket and what seemed like ice packs to preserve the body were also found um, where, where, where her body uh, was banger. Now, what has the Ghanaian police has said? What do they say happened to the Jacksons? That is a mystery question the police are trying to answer at the moment. They're putting together the uh, pieces of the puzzle, puzzle to answer that question. Um, but here's what sources are saying. Sources are saying that they do not suspect foul play at the moment. However, um, as part of investigations, they are waiting on the autopsy report on the couple. Now, Kimini, we also know that the couple had two children who were found alongside their parents. What has happened to them? That's right. They had two boys, 13 and 11 year olds. They were found in the same house as the decomposing bodies of their parents. Based on what I learned from the medical doctor attending to the children, they were brought in barely conscious. They were dehydrated. They were weak. And obviously, when they regained uh, con consciousness, they were traumatized. He told me that they could not walk. And in his medical opinion, it could be as a result of starvation and not using their muscles for a prolonged period of time. However, he also said that there is a glimmer of hope for the children as they are responding to treatment, albeit slowly. Well, that, that's some good news there. Now, just before I let you go, Kamini, what do we know about the Jacksons? What are neighbors saying, people that interacted with them in the past? That's, that's another mysterious question, Benga, because the, the Jacksons lived a very quiet life. Uh, they were nice people when they met you, according to their neighbors, but they hardly picked conversations with people around them. them. So there's very little known about them. But here's what I've got it again. Uh, they moved from the Netherlands to Ghana. It's unclear how long they have been in Ghana. In fact, uh, family members who were called in, extended family members, that is, who were called in after the incident, uh, after the police discovered the body, uh, have mentioned that they had no idea that, that the Jacksons had relocated back to Ghana. In fact, one family member says that the last time they interacted with the Jacksons uh, was way back in 2013. So you can imagine they had very mm -hmm. uh, little interaction with people who were outside of their nuclear family. Gwinga. Thank you very much, uh, Kamini, for your time and insights on the story. We will definitely, it's still, it's still a developing story, so we'll definitely keep our tabs on that. Thank you very much.